各位亲爱的同学，大家好！真感谢今仔日，我有这个机会来参加这个真有纪念性、真有意义的一个音乐会。啊，我要继续啊，弹这个两首小太人教授的曲。第一首是这个悲歌，啊，这个悲歌就是讲伫少年一个过往去的人的一个纪念的曲。啊，小德教授写这个曲的是，伊拄啊好迄个啊，伊伊的台湾翠青写了，啊，转互台湾个建筑袂当断去的时阵，这就是二二八事件了，咱台湾个继续搁搁伫啊，迄、那个白色恐怖内底啊，介侪情形袂当断去台湾，会一个真悲惨的结果。伊这个悲歌是伊的啊，家园的回忆内底第五首。啊，所以伊这个曲内底，随后真悲伤的这个一面，啊，搁是也是伊也真艰苦，讲伊袂当返去台湾，伫少年人台湾是写。然后我要弹一首，或者呃，触景曲，或者托卡达，啊，这是呃，你会看到讲介一个呃，真技巧的迄个方面的呃，的一个曲。啊，小教授伊家己讲，这个曲是迄个白纸甲乌纸，咱偏了有了迄个两色的迄个键盘吼，白纸甲乌纸会用得挣扎，用得加得修正。然后我要弹一首咱台湾的地地人遗书所写的《福摩萨颂》。啊，《福摩萨颂》是呃本来是地地人遗书家编曲，伊的爸爸写迄个歌词。啊，这个曲真水。当时迄个啊，总总统李登辉先生来美国访问的时，咱的同乡唱一条歌给听，爱听啊，感动啊，流泪纵横，也是非常水的一条曲。所以我今仔要来弹三首咱台湾的作曲家的曲。Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for inviting me and including me to this very meaningful concert tonight. Thank you, Josephine. We gather here every year on February 28th. To commemorate、um, the tragedy that happened a long time ago, we are here to remember the people who sacrificed their lives. But we are also here to remember that something very bad happened, and we have to be vigilant about it so the history does not repeat. I will continue to、um, the program with two short pieces by Taiwan's most famous composer, Tai Zhen Shao. Professor Xiao、uh, sadly passed away two years ago on February 24th. The elegy is a praise and a memory for people who passed away. This is the fifth piece of his Memories of Home. The Memories of Home is a collection of short pieces, six short pieces, and it was written during the time when Xiao Taizhen was not allowed to go back to Taiwan. Because it was a time when the government can decide whether they don't like you or because of something you said or something you wrote that you are not welcome back to your homeland. So Xiao Taizhen wrote these pieces、uh, because of his homesickness to his、uh, beloved Taiwan. Then, following the two short pieces.、Um, Following the elegy, I will perform the toccata, which is a very techni technical piece. And according to Mr. Shaw himself, this is a struggle between the black keys and the white keys. And following the two short pieces by Shaw Taizen, I will perform Formosa Song by Dr. Chi Zhen Chen. Chi Zhen Chen、uh, is actually a medical doctor, and he is a、uh, expert in male infertility in Taiwan. This piece is very beautiful, and when、uh, former President Li Denghui visited the United States, a lot of Taiwanese folks gathered together and sang this song to welcome him. And he was very touched to the point that he、uh, he cried. So three short pieces by two Taiwanese composers. <laughs>
one of Beethoven's most popular works, even during his lifetime. However, the title Moonlight Sonata was not there. It's not by Beethoven. It was a German musicologist, Ludwig Rudolstadt, that gave the name five years after Beethoven's death. Today, the scholars agree that most likely Beethoven wrote this piece for a dying friend. Beethoven knew that he was dying and he couldn't do anything about it. And the repeated notes in the melody are probably the funeral bells. It was also a time that Beethoven was having tremendous difficulties with his life. He's in his early 30s and he realized that his hearing is going and he's not getting better. In fact, in 1802, right around the time that he wrote this piece, he almost killed himself. He finally wrote, thanks to my art, I didn't kill myself. It's Beethoven come to terms with his life and continue on and to the next movement. So here's Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata. <laughs> <laughs> 